Hey guys, um, I just wanted to talk to you and tell you guys what's happened lately. So um, I'm pretty sure many of you guys saw my retirement video from IPL, and I made that video when I was um, I was really depressed because we just lost to Frost and I wasn't really thinking right. Um, after talking with my team um, and just having a long conversation about season three and what we want to do and what players we wanted, um, I decided to continue to play uh, in season three and I'm really excited for that. Um, when I did that interview with IPL initially, I really didn't think that it would explode to be this massive. And I, I would like to apologize to the community for even doing that interview at all. Um, I, I was just really emotional that we lost and that should have never happened. And um, yeah, I just wanted to apologize and that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm really excited to go into season three. I'm looking forward to for the future and I'm just gonna forget about um, uh, our loss. Uh, and uh, another topic that I wanted to talk about was um, the big like drama incident um, of what happened. Like right now on Reddit, people are, are blowing up, accusing of every team of cheating, like IG, TSM, We, Frost, TPA, everyone, just because they have a simple screenshot of them tilting their head. And I feel like people are just just going crazy over this when it shouldn't be this big of a deal. Um, I feel like uh, they should just host the tournament and continue uh, what happened already. We and CLG should play their match. Frost deserves their victory. They did play very well and everything should just move forward. Unfortunately there were just some problems. Uh, about the cheating otherwise, um, just I mean tilting your head doesn't mean cheating. I think people are just over overly sensitive about that. There can be so many reasons why people tilt like tilt their head, and there can be so many more reasons why. Um, like uh, you can't just explain it. Like someone tilts their head like this does not mean they're cheating. They can be talking to their friend, and they can just react because something happened in game. Like what the hell, you know? So you can't accuse someone of cheating and tilting their head. Um, in TSM's case. People took a screenshot of Darius tilting his head, and I want to clarify. Uh, what actually happened was the referee was already at the, at like the where we're playing near the computer. He was bent over. Uh, if you looked into the screenshot, you can tell that the ref was already talking to us, and we already decided on a remake. So when Darius did look behind him, there was already a black screen and no longer a mini map, and it was also showing Rivington and Freak. Um, by that time, every player could have already turned because the referee already agreed on a remake. So TSM did not cheat. So for all the people that are accusing us of cheating, we did not cheat. We turned our head when we were allowed to, when the screen did not show anything, and it was already confirmed to be a 100% remake. Just to be clear on this. So there was no possibility of us cheating. Um, uh, as of Frost, I made the previous video because there was more evidence of them uh, doing more shady things than just tilting your head. Like I said before in the past, you can't really accuse someone of tilting their head and it could be intentional or unintentional and you can't tell. But like since since then, uh, there has been a lot of evidence and a lot of things that had happened. Like for say, the only reason why we actually felt like Frost was kind of unfair because they were pinging on us where we were dark. It was like 20 seconds in the map, we were at our first tower, and somehow they were pinging exactly where we were. Um, and that's really strange because if you just start a game, right, how would you know where the players are? Like, how would you know where your opponents are when the game just started 20 seconds in? How would you know where four opponents are? And on top of that, I felt like it was really strange because they had a really weak jungler, Maokai, and generally when you're playing a Maokai jungler, you play very defensive and you protect blue and you never ever walk into an enemy jungle unless you have vision it was really strange that frost just walked into our jungle without any vision at all Malkai walked up to our wraith brush and just threw stopping there without even checking the other brushes at all he's like well i'm 100 percent sure that they're not in their jungle at all i'm just gonna walk through there and not be afraid to die um throughout my competitive experience i've never ever witnessed anything like that before and it was really strange that they knew where we were. They um, 
they paused the game and um, just like all that in general made us very unhappy of the situation but aside from that uh, I this follows just to clarify where I, why we thought Frost cheated like all the other teams TPA we I don't know other teams like I don't think the community should, community should bash on them for just turning their head uh, any team would turn that yeah yeah you can assume that they cheat they could have cheated they couldn't have cheated but what I think Frost did was way more obvious and way more plain than what any other team did just say even they, they tilt to their head I mean like like if you're gonna cheat at least please don't make it so obvious like that's what really upset me um, aside from that like there is a lot of drama people are blowing up and people are accusing every team of cheating and I don't think all those teams deserve what the community is saying especially when no one has evidence at all like when you're accusing someone of cheating you need a lot of substantial evidence like that is still not substantial I mean Frost could have just walked into our jungle and knew and just p predicted that we weren't there you know like it, it still isn't solid proof that they cheated it just seemed really strange to us and uh, we assumed it and assuming is bad, I guess. That's why, um, if there's no solid proof, you can't really do anything about it. And that's why I'm not. I don't want to really make a big deal out of this. And I'm just explaining to you guys that um, I think the tournament should go on. I think that Frost did win and deserved the victory. And I think that um, I think that the tournament should just go on because there's no solid proof, and uh, people are just accusing multiple teams of cheating, like. Um, I guess, in our perspective, we are accusing another team as well, so I shouldn't be doing that. But at the same time, it's really hard for me to not feel this way because I'm the opposing team, and I just saw so many things that hinted towards that. But like, if you look at it from an unbiased standpoint, um, to say for Riot example, you they, it's really hard on Riot to make a decision because. Uh, there's just not enough proof to penalize any team and that's why they would just have to move forward and I just think that everyone should just cut them some slack there uh, in the future I would like to basic I would like events to basically not have this happen where there wouldn't even be an opportunity but um, I think this is gonna pass soon and uh, everything will just be better anyways I this vlog is basically to kind of explain the situation, how I really felt, how I think people should go on about this, and yeah, I'm just sitting here just rambling on, but anyways, peace out guys, bye. I'm gonna go go have like lunch or something, and go drink milk with our one. <laughs> anyways, bye guys.